What are you doing? Getting ready to shoot a sketch. Why? What do you mean, why? I mean, why would you do that? Because it's fun? It's all I want to do. It's, it's all I've ever really wanted to do. Yes, but it's been done. You don't know that. Oh, I do. It's been done. It's all been done. This idea right here, talking about how it's all been done, it's been done. And it's been done better with punchier cuts and better jokes. And the absolute best version of this still can't compete with attractive people making a TikTok to a Charlie XCX song. The only thing that works anymore is sensationalism in its purest, most distilled form. That's extremely depressing. Oh, and it's only gonna get worse. Because with AI getting stronger, the internet's going to become a graveyard of creativity, where AI video and AI music will dominate the entirety of the landscape, making humans irrelevant. Oh, that sounds absolutely terrible. Most consumers won't think so. They'll simply be dazzled by the imagery and soundscapes that exponential learning algorithms can create by stealing all of human ingenuity that we've put on the internet. I'm still gonna do it because if everyone's making soulless AI garbage, then I'll stand out to the studios who are making higher budget, episodic content. The studios? What studios? Warner Brothers just wrote down $9 billion in debt a few weeks ago. Paramount wrote down $6 billion. Layoffs are sweeping the entirety of the landscape. Amazon is asleep at the wheel at best. Apple is going to continue pumping out tepid rehashes of old TV concepts until a new CFO comes in and destroys the entire project under a giant tax write-off. I can see this is bothering you. That's because we're staring down the barrel of a future where Netflix, Disney, Universal, and Amazon own everything. And they create a consolidation and choke point for media, the likes of which we've never even thought of before. I'll bet you're real fun at weddings. But it won't stop there. The studios will be watching as customers become more and more accustomed to AI content on the internet. And as soon as Congress can get past the whole copyright of it all, studios will start implementing AI across the broader scale of their content until eventually they just become AI content factories in total. Yeah, but like who actually wants that? Would you like to watch Transformers where you're Optimus Prime? Honestly, if you're asking, I'd prefer to be Megan Fox. Okay, fine, Megan Fox. F yes, I would. AI can do that. Would you pay to watch Star Wars episodes seven through nine with actual acting and a modicum of plot that makes sense? F yes, I would. AI can do that. Would you pay to watch Batman v Superman, but every time someone says Martha, Tommy Wiseau shows up on screen and says, oh, hi, Mark. Are you a fucking genius? AI can do all of that. And it will be able to create literally whatever you want from a command prompt. It will render the concept of human creation completely irrelevant. To be fair, I really do want to be Megan Fox. And that's kind of it, right? The temptation to see exactly what you want immediately and for a decent price will be too much for everyone. Yeah, but isn't this more like when movies came out and they said that theater was dead? Do you think theater is alive? Oof, fair. There will always be micro communities that keep the art alive, like theater, but it will be on life support, like theater. So what's the solution, Judge Existential Dread? I truly don't know. All we really can do is wait. Well, if there's nothing else to do, I'll just keep making videos. That, um... That actually makes a lot of sense.